Uh, what's happening guys? Look at this killer 70 Chevy Impala Coupe with the classic uh, and much much older orange julep ball restaurant. Now I think that this car here, I actually took a photo of this car or two in the NDG sector of Montreal like 20 years ago. Except that at that time, if this is the same car, it was a kind of a darker blue, like a sky blue. But I'm like positive this is the same car. As a matter of fact, there's the proof. It still has the same Kragers on it. It's just such a beautiful design. And oddly enough, ironically, back in the back in the 90s when I was building model cars like obsessively, I built one exactly like this. The same Krager Max. Look at that, eh? Is that a 454? Oh yeah, nothing but the best. Yes, sir. So it's always good to see that uh, there are still some oldies that I've seen before many years ago and they're still here in the city, thankfully. Uh, because we've lost a lot of classic cars here in Quebec and even near Montreal because we're next to the port and they've gone to Germany, they've gone to Australia, they've gone to Sweden, they've gone to Finland. And uh, but luckily a car like this is not particularly rare either so they really they're not stupid the guys overseas they buy the cars that are rare it's nice to finally see this car uh, up close again and get to make a little video of it you know oh man you know what I wish my friend Jean was here because he has a, a 70 Bel Air two door post which is even rarer than this and uh, it's the same color as this, actually. Is that the same I was just saying in the video, my no, friend. You know, it. no, it's not that guy. No, the guy's my, I think my uh, my friend Jean. You know, my friend Jean he has a a '70 Chevy Bel Air, just the same color as this two-door Post, and he also has a '68 uh, Chevy Caprice. Okay. Green, like, but not a kind of rough shape. Okay. With the hidden the headlights. Okay. And he's a very nice guy, and if he saw this, he'd be like, "Oh man, he probably knows about it." I mean, yeah, yeah. This car was totally repainted. Look at the the. The paint quality is just outstanding. Look, you can see Alex's reflection here clearly. I smell some root, good quality. <laughs> no, but you know, like this is traditionally done right. Look yeah. what I mean by that. Look at the stance. Yeah. Look at the, the bigger, larger tires in the rear. Classic Krager wheels. Yeah. It's good, it matches the car. And then on the other end of things, I got an ad or two for one of those. That's a guy, uh, he always comes, he's an airbrush dude there. Yeah, well, those cars are like extinct, eh? No? I would like to get a, a picture of the front of this car, but uh, these guys are uh, hampering the view there. Okay, so uh, now I can finish the video here of this fine, fine, fine 70 Impala Coupe. And um, there's another thing that's funny about this car actually is that uh, I was saying before that I built a model exactly of one of these back in the, the, the 90s. It was a dark metallic blue, same. Uh, Krager mag wheels but the funny thing is that last year I bought another model kit of this car but it's a fire chief and uh, so it's I so there's a there's a special meaning of this car hey je le connais cette voiture là je l'ai vu ce char là ça fait 20 ans NDG j'ai tu raison puis là je l'ai vu je sais pas combien de temps vous l'avez yeah but I love fire vehicles you know Hey, Fils, uh, merci de l'avoir emmené, monsieur, parce que comme j'ai dit, ça fait quelques fois dans, depuis 20 ans, je le vois. Ben, écoute, c'est rare que je l'ai vu. Je pense que la dernière fois que je l'ai vu, ça fait. Je pense que la dernière fois que je l'ai vu, ça fait euh, 10 ans. Puis, euh, non, c'est un plaisir parce que ça, c'est vraiment euh, dans le temps où, comme tu le sais, Chevrolet. Je vais te dire en anglais pour mon vidéo parce que je suis un YouTuber, mais. Euh, they were selling, like since the 50s, they were selling over a million cars, full size cars, every year. Not Chevelles, not Corvettes. Impala, Bel Air, Biscayne, every year over a million cars. C'est incroyable. Tu regardes des vieilles photos là, dans les pays arabes, they're everywhere. You know? So what's the mileage on this car, man? I don't know. And I don't care. You had it repainted though. Because when I first saw it, it had the Kragers. Il y avait des white wall dessus. Mais il était comme un bleu foncé. Oui. Ah, it's fantastic. Merci vraiment de l'avoir emmené parce que moi, ça, ça me fait triper de revoir ça, tu sais, euh, après tellement d'années. Puis, euh, comme je disais aux Français que j'ai filmé son Thunderbird, le gars, il se passe pratique. Je dis, regarde, les Européens, ils ont acheté tellement d'autos anciennes, spécialement les plus rares, que 
Tu vois Gramby, Gramby, tu vas pas même pas voir un Cadillac 59 ou 58 parce que they're all fucking gone. Ouais. Pourquoi? Parce qu'on est à côté du port puis notre dollar, il vaut encore de la merde, malheureusement. Ouais. So, si tu compares à l'euro, c'est pas pareil. I mean, this is not a very rare car, but I can't remember the last time I saw a 70 Impala Coupe. C'est parce que c'est des chars qui étaient toujours tellement cool que tu sais, les people drove them into the ground. Yeah. You know? So. Man, he's got LEDs on that. Oh, that's surprising for a car that's pretty stock actually. Listen to that 454 big block. Yeah, man. 